Hello everyone. This tutorial video will take you through basic features for managers. Part one: Login. To log in the program, please follow these steps. Open the web browser and enter on this bar your restaurant name. Cookbook.com. Enter username and password to log in the management page of your restaurant. The program shows general reports, daily and monthly. To proceed with other management tasks, click on the buttons on the left of the screen, such as storehouse, promotion, pay-in or pay-out, etc. Part two: Layout settings. Go to System Settings and select Layout. The program will require to enter the number of areas in the restaurant. Enter the number here and click Create. Edit area name and enter table number in each area. Click here to select Table Interface. Click OK to complete. Click here to organize tables according to the actual layout of the restaurant. Click here to add room. Change name and size of the room. Drag and drop each table to change the location, and double-click on the table to change table information. Click here to add door, and click here to create new tables. To delete or change information of objects in the layout, right-click on them and select Proper Action. After Settings, click Save. Follow the same steps for other areas in the restaurant. When the restaurant opens new area, select Add or Quick Settings to create a new area, and set up layout as steps above. Part three: Employees. The manager adds and assigns roles to employees as follows. Go to Utilities and select Staff. Click Add, and then enter staff information. Click here to view available roles in the restaurant and the actions this role may proceed. Check roles you want to assign and click here to confirm. For the employees whose information is just required to manage, but are not allowed to work with the program, uncheck here. Staff ID and password is used to log in the program. To limit access time of any employees, click here and enter their working time. Click Save to finish. After adding a new staff, they will appear here, and their roles will be listed below. To edit a role, go to System Settings and select Role Management. Select a role and click Edit. Here are the roles the staff is assigned to work. Check to add row or uncheck to remove assignment. Part four: Menu. The manager can add items on menu tab. Click Add to add new items to the menu. Step one: Select types as food, drink, combo, or other. Step two: Enter item information. Fields with star mark are required to fill. For items subject to seasonal price or price adjustment, please check here. Enter information on modifier tab. This helps the staff quickly select you when taking order. Enter ingredient recipe of each item to strictly manage inventory. Click Save to finish. If you want to add multiple items at the same time, you can do so by importing items from an Excel file. Click here to download the template and enter information on the fields with star marks. This file includes detailed instruction to check out examples. After entering information, click here to import the Excel file to the program. Then check data. The program will show valid and invalid items. For invalid items, you can edit it in the Excel file and import it again. Now the file is imported successfully. If you want to edit any item, select the item and click here to edit. Click Save after editing. For items subject to seasonal price, click Update Price. 
click here to download the Excel file and change items prices. Then import the file again. Part 5 Settings Important settings on the program are available in System Settings. General information includes information, restaurant model, and other options. The first important part you should set up first is currency. Click here to edit. The manager selects the main currency used in the restaurant. Add face value by clicking here. Enter face values and check here to show them on the Get Payment screen. Click OK to save settings. Click here to allow the program to route up and change routing up rules if you want. If the restaurant accepts payment with multiple currencies, click here to add and enter exchange rate. Click here to save changes. Sell or purchase tab includes settings and rules on the program. Here are the most common settings. Required to select table you've been taking order in order to strictly manage the available and occupied tables. Require manager's confirmation in case of editing, deleting, or applying a promotion program. How to calculate value added tax and service charge. Payment method. Part 6. View reports. Click on report tab. The program provides many kinds of reports that the manager can keep up with all activities in the restaurant, including reports on sale, purchase, storehouse, desk, profits, and timekeeping if the restaurant uses Google Timekeeping app. Each report group has child reports by different criteria. For example, to view sale reports, click here to select a report. The program provides detailed reports on sales by item, by modifier, and by guest, etc. Select Report Type, Time, and click OK to view. To view report on the other day, select Date and click Load Data. And click here to export data to an Excel file. Part 7. Other settings. Add Storehouse. Go to Utilities and select Storehouse. Click Add Storehouse and enter information here. Then, click Save. Now, the program will create a new storehouse and the manager can proceed with storehouse activities. Add Kitchen or Bar. If the restaurant has multiple kitchens or bars, the manager adds kitchens or bars by going to Utilities and selecting Kitchen or Bar. Click here to add Kitchen or Bar, enter name and area type, then click Save. A reason for cancelling any item. Select Utilities and go to Reason for deleting item. The manager adds Reason for deleting item and then click Save. When the guest wants to cancel an item, the staff can select reason from the list here. Part 8. Promotion Select Promotion tab to check out promotion programs in the restaurant. Click here to select and add a promotion. The program allows to set up four types, offer free item, buy M, offer N, discount by bill, discount by item, offer free item, Enter information of the program and applicable term. Select items to be offered from the list and click Save. Buy M offer N. Store. The manager can set up to offer one item or many items when the guest orders a certain item or item group. Check the items to be offered. Select to offer one or all. Then click Save. Discount by Bill. Store. With this kind of promotion, the manager can add applicable conditions according to total bill or the number of ordered items. You can select Discount by percentage or by amount. Then click Save. 
discount by item. Follow the same steps at discount by bill. The manager can offer discount by a certain item or menu category. Enter applicable condition if any, and then click Save to apply the program. Above are the features for the manager. Thank you very much for watching.